Okay, thank you for checking out another exciting episode of Inventor's Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to discuss an overall roadmap for what to do if you've got some idea in your head that you've been tossing around and you want to do more than just keep it there. So let's jump right in. Let's talk about the phases of idea development. Phase one, protect the idea. Many people are concerned about others stealing their idea, which is understandable. So the first thing to do often is to protect the idea. Typically, a patent application is a good first step. A provisional patent application is a low-cost technique to establish a minimum level of protection. In general, you're much better off having a pending patent application before you discuss your invention with other people. A nice feature of the provisional patent application is that it buys you a year to further evaluate your idea and decide if it's worth going further with it. If so, then you file a regular patent application within one year to take advantage of your original filing date. I will put in the video description links to another episode that discusses provisional patent applications. I will also put into this description a link to a video on a U.S. government program where you may be eligible for free legal services to help you prepare a patent application. Don't worry, it's not an infomercial and it's not going to ask you for any money. But if you have limited means, you may still be able to get a professionally prepared patent application. Now that we've protected our idea, we want to investigate. We go into more details on how the invention would work. Maybe we don't know how to make every aspect of the invention. For example, if the invention involves software and you don't know how to write software, you could learn how to write software, but that could take a while. So alternatively, you could find someone who knows how to write software to greatly accelerate your invention development. So in this phase, you may have to identify collaborators, such as consultants you might hire to work on various aspects of your invention. It's also a good time to think about business models if applicable. Some people don't care about making money right away from their invention, or maybe they are trying to develop a collection of patents, referred to as a portfolio. Patent portfolios are often worth more than a single patent when it comes to selling and licensing of patents. But if you are thinking to make money with your invention, now is a good time to think about how that would work. Would you be selling it directly to customers, trying to license it to other manufacturers? So you want to give some thought to that uh, at this phase. Next, we're going to develop. And I cannot emphasize enough the power of live demonstrations to promote an idea. Thus, making working prototypes are a must. Don't get lazy, do it. I have included a link in the description to a video about prototyping if you want more information on that topic. Also, by making prototypes, you will learn what does and does not work with your invention and refine it to make it the best it can be. Finally, if it's something you plan to mass produce, Think about how it may be manufactured in a cost-effective way. Again, if you're not an expert in all these fields, you may need to collaborate and or do some additional homework. I didn't say it was easy, folks, but I'm trying to give you an honest roadmap of some of the things you'll need to consider. Finally, we promote. In this context, promotion means getting our invention in front of the right people. That could be customers, but it could also be investors, partners, distributors, retailers, and others. Promotion can include activities such as advertising, raising capital, and identifying distribution channels. And again, the working prototype is helpful in doing live demonstrations or making videos that can help convince people to get on board with your invention. Don't believe me? Take a look at a site like Kickstarter to see how many groups are out there with demos. So what are your chances without a good demo? Raising capital to take your idea to the next level, hiring people, buying materials and other activities, identifying retailers and other distributors are all key aspects of promotion. Again, this is not easy, but success can happen if you have a good idea and the tenacity to stick with it. So finally, I'll leave you with this. 
Sarah Blakely, the inventor of Spanx undergarments, went through the process of idea all the way to successful product. And while hers is one of the more well-known inventor success stories of recent years, there are others, and there will continue to be others. Maybe one of them will be you. So thanks again for checking out this episode of Inventor's Quick Tips, and we hope to see you again next time.